You know? No, not at all. And I mean, I've seen videos of those chairlifts just, mm -hmm. you know, swinging back to forth in the wind. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad they did close down. And also in the back country, a big risk for avalanches today. We're going to see a lot of rain falling down on our snowpack with snow levels skyrocketing to even above 8,000 feet today. So even a bit of melting too with our snowpack above the tree line, near the tree line, uh, we will see high avalanche danger and risk out there today. On the slopes, again, the snow would probably have been a bit soggy and wet, but uh, I believe those resorts closed down due to the winds will be very gusty out there today. We'll see some improvement going into the rest of the week, but today just a very stormy day. Also wet one too. Here's a look at our radar. You can see some heavy pockets of rain now pushing through Portland. It's a very wet start a chance if you're driving around the city on the interstate and some of those back roads, you could see some standing water. So be careful of hydroplaning. Take it a bit slower this morning. We're also seeing some heavy rain out towards areas of the coast. Here's that atmospheric river too that is working on in. It is a big channel of moisture that's stems from the tropics and we've been getting this a lot this winter time. I feel like a broken record talking about uh, the atmospheric river, but again, a lot of moisture tapping in from the tropics. It's pushing our way and we're now receiving it. We're expecting rain all day long today and likely stacking up over an inch of rain here just at the Portland airport. By the time you wrap up the day, the coast already since midnight has seen over a half an inch of rain and this region here in Southwest Washington, the north portion of the coast will likely get the brunt of the storm, but we'll also pick up the rain all day today and continue to see uh, that number increasing as we uh, see that rain falling. We have a flood watch across the valley, also out towards the coast. Heavy rain leading to standing water on the roads. We'll also see some gusty winds and place today. That's another concern, uh, but rising rivers and landslides also something that we'll have to watch with this heavy rain in place today. So forecast rain totals have all generally been fairly high across models. This is just one model showing some numbers here as we finish out the day, uh, likely over an inch of rain. Our current record is about an inch and a third. If we beat that, we'll see a new record uh, rainfall rate for today. Uh, the coast could stack up closer to two, maybe two and a half inches, and some of those foothills could see closer to three, maybe even five inches. So a lot of water coming in as we head throughout the day. We start to back off the rain as we head towards Wednesday afternoon. I do see some dry time late Wednesday into Thursday, but until then it's going to be a pretty stormy uh, day and uh, stormy conditions already out towards the coast. Take a look. That's seaside right now. So we're getting some heavy rain and some high winds. Uh, we're seeing Temperatures also in the upper 40s to low 50s already. And as the system rolls in, it'll push in those warmer south winds. So our highs today uh, will creep up into the upper 50s. That's about 10 degrees above where we should be on this January day. So here's our wind gust forecast. We're already clocking in wind gusts close to 50 miles per hour near Astoria, Cannon Beach, and Tillamook will continue that through today. Even in Portland, I do see a couple of gusts here this morning and throughout the evening where we could see some speeds around 30 to 40 miles per hour. That also includes Salem. I see some wind gusts close to 45 today, all from the south, and that's going to usher in that warmer air. We finally back off the winds as we head towards Wednesday, too. So here's our future cast. That rain just continues. We'll see some big pulses of moisture this afternoon. Then again this evening, we finally see this system uh, shifting towards the southeast and out the door by Wednesday. Look at that dry time as we head into tomorrow afternoon. But today we have a lot of warnings. The king tides in place out towards the coast, a high surf, large waves, and also the rain and the winds. Temperatures today in the mid-50s in Portland and across the uh, valley, likely in the upper 50s with a rainy and windy day as well. So here's your seven day forecast. A lot of alerts up today, so put today in red there. Be watchful on the roads, and if you do live out towards the foothills, we could be tracking some landslides. Upper 50s today will slowly back down towards the low 50s as we head towards the end of the week. And again, some dry time as we finish out Wednesday and head into Thursday. Carly, how are the roads? Well, we do have a track.